Hi, Chow. Oh, I got your card today. I'm going to show it. Happy birthday, Terry. Happy birthday, Terry. Oh, hold on. I don't have my chats on. Let me fix my chats here. I can only see some of your chats. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to fix it. Oh my God, you guys are like flooding in here so fast. I know, but, you know, we're only like 18 away. Okay, I think I have chat working now. All right, I wasn't seeing all the chats. Okay. Hello, happy crafty people. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we only need 18 more people to get to 15,000. Let the giveaways begin. Hello, Faye. Who's here? Hi, Sandy. Hi, Angela. Hi, Tony. Hi, Linnea. Hello, everybody that came in. Hello, Susan. Charlotte. Carmen. Woo! All right, so remember the other night when I made these little um, monogram cards with the Gemini foil press? Um, dun, dun, dun. So I finished them up. I think I finished them up. Oh, these envelopes got little marks in them. Um, I just took some kind of matching foil cardstock to the flower colors. So I put a little bit of shimmer on the flowers. Uh, there you can see a tiny bit of shimmer on the flowers. And then remember that stamp I got from Spellbinders? Here it is. My accident stamp. Well, I just kind of used the flourishes and it also took it off that it's off centered because I did a smaller piece and a bigger piece. So now it doesn't look like it's so off centered. Of course, now that I said that, you're going to check. But I took some, this is um, Stampin' Up foil cardstock. So I have the um, fuchsia, the turquoise, and then I found as close as I could get rose gold. So this one's the fuchsia. And then this one is the rose gold. And then this one is the turquoise. So also what I did, because she went, this is again for my friend's daughter who went into the military. Um, I stamped on the back. Little, little piece of home for her. So um, I am going to make sure these fit in the envelopes. I'm going to send them to her blank with the envelopes so that way, perfect. She can send some letters home to her family. And then I'll just make her a nice little, like, thank you for your service kind of card and stuff these in an envelope for her. So just a quick gift. I mean, I know it's only three, but it's something for now. Um, a lot of times the military, especially since she's new, will open the mail. So you can't have anything, like, over the top. You can't, I like, I can't put sequins on here. You can't put chunky glitter on here, anything like that. So I need to, to kind of make them simple, but pretty. And if she likes them, I'm sure I'll hear back and then I can make her some more and send her some more. So I think they turned out pretty good considering it was my first time doing them. Hello, Ryan, darling. What y'all think? All right, um, I got some goodies today. Let's show the goodies. All right, here's my pile. I love when the mailman comes. All right, so this is from Cheryl. This will go to in the donate pile. 
So thank you, Cheryl. Um, she sent a very nice letter with some very beautiful handwriting and basically um, blaming me for her Creative Vision stamps habit. And I'm okay with that. Because as long as you're happy, Cheryl, that's all that matters. So Cheryl sent this. This is going to go in the giveaway pile. It is the Hero Arts Layering, um, what do you call that? Seahorse set. So not only do the seahorse layer, but you have this set of shells. You have this shell. You have two smaller seahorses. They don't layer. Actually, three seahorses. So you got a big one, and then you got these three little ones. So that's pretty cool. And then you have a little starfish that also layers, and it says, You, me, and the sea, wishing you oceans of joy. So super cute. I'm definitely going to put that in the giveaway for you guys. You guys are so generous. I gotta say, I'm so proud of you guys. All right, I got this very beautiful Mother's Day card and it's really beautifully colored. It's layered, it's got foiling on it. So um, this is from Chow. I love this, so cute. Look at, look at the foil. So Chow, I think this is amazing. I think you did a really, really great job with that. And then she's got her little stamp on the back there. Love it, sweetheart. Good job with that. And then my mother-in-law sent me a Mother's Day card. Ma, there's no money in here. Just kidding. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that I got two knives from Leah's father? That was really like cool. I need that to chop up my fish when I catch them. All right, so, and then I got this little package here. This is from Carol. Hold on. I want to make sure I can get everything out of here. Carol, you are just like reading my mind, honey. So Carol not only sent me this beautiful card where she used the beautiful Creative Vision Stamps foil on this black cardstock dragonfly. So if you guys saw my video from this morning... I was talking about dark cardstock. Well, apparently Carol read my mind because in her little letter here, she sent me the card blank, but in her letter she says, hey, I was trying out some black cardstock. I want you to check it out. So she sent me samples of papers that she has used and how her, um, her foiling came out on dark cardstock. So I will have to try these out. And let you guys know, I think there's, oh, this is a heavier one. Okay, so I don't have either of these papers, so these are going to be new to me. So this one is um, Nina Astro Bright's Eclipse Black. It is a lighter cardstock, but it does seem to be super smooth from what I can tell what she did. That's really nice. And then this is a little heavier. This is the Spectrum Noir Premium. Oh, she got it off of HSN, but also looks really good. And this is heavier. So I'm going to have to do some more tests for you guys. But thank you, Carol. I appreciate that so much. So those were those goodies. And then I told you guys I purchased some stamps from um, Kitchen Sink Stamps. So... From Kitchen Sink Stamps, I'm going to put in the giveaway for you guys. The Hummingbird. You guys really like the Hummingbird. It's super cute. So I'm going to send you this. And I'm putting in, this is new to me. I did get one for myself, but this is the Ladybug Hugs. So I got one for myself. Maybe we'll play with that one tonight. Because it just looks super cute. Maybe we'll try that one. This one, Friends of the Moon. You guys know I love this set. I think it's so versatile. Um, not only do you have a big moon in there, but you have some uh, fireworks. You have some geese. You have Santa. You have um, stars and spaceships and planets. So I love this set. This is also the one with the flying witch that I used. So I love this set. So I'm going to give that one away. And then I also brought an extra teddy bear wishes stamp set. So someone's going to win that as well. So this is a layered stamp set. You get the teddy bear on that. So all of these, Leah, come put these in the giveaway box, please. 
are going in our, oh my gosh, cannot believe, 18 away from 15,000 subscribers. Thank you, ma'am. Any one of those big boxes over there. Yep, just put it in there. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. And then I got for myself, I got two stamp sets I purchased for myself. This one we'll use this fall. It's called Autumn Squirrel. He's just too cute. Squirrel. So that one's new for me. And then this one is on the retired brought back list. This is the little elephant. And then, of course, I got myself the ladybug. So maybe we'll stamp these out just to see what they look like. Because I really don't have anything planned for tonight, you guys. I'm just winging it after yesterday's fiasco. Whew. I was attempting to clean my desk up, but then I got distracted by shiny, pretty things. And uh, Lee and I were just talking about, like... Um, Gemini foil because he can get way more than I can get here there so we were just talking about like all the colors and everything and I was like I really need to clean my desk and I don't have time to do a live tonight and he was like yeah I don't blame you and then I was like okay I'm gonna go do my live now <laughs> so thanks for hanging out everybody all right I have some pieces of Nina solar white here find one more whatever okay let's just stamp out some fun things here all right I'm gonna grab my what kind of inks do we want to use today I think for the ladybug I'm gonna grab some VersaFine you guys saying i missed it stacy tracy not here tonight where's my stacy tracy stacy tracy everybody tell terry happy birthday hello crystal i sound like a gem my sister's a gemini I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> Barbara left the O off her hello. There's my Stacy. Yeah, where are those two? Should I text Tracy? Like, Tracy, where you at? Tracy might still be working, actually. I am a little early. I should have put this off a little later, but. Well, you know, when the mood strikes, you just got to take advantage. Ryan, you're a Gemini? Hmm, interesting. Oh, so it's like me and my sister, Ryan. My sister is a Gemini and I'm an Aquarius. Did you guys get along growing up? Because my sister and I did not get along growing up. Age of Aquarius. All right, so once again, for those of you new with kitchen sink stamps, I don't know what you're waiting for because they have the best layered stamps in the world. Um, of course, I say that about everything I love. All right, so it comes with the layering guide. What I like to do when I get my layering guide is put my stamps on it, okay? And why do I do that? Because if I forget to put my stamps away... Not Nancy. She never forgets to put anything away. I know exactly which one's missing. Oh, we have the little heart. Oh, this is a, it's a lots of layers in this stamp. I'm like, ah, it's going to be a cute little bug. It's going to be like two layers. wrong -oh. oh, there's a big one and a little one. Oh, there's two bugs in here. Not that I'm a fan of bugs, but little sentiments that say bug hugs. Ladybug Blessings, Hey Love. We'll see how realistic it looks. This is a good size to um, 
put on all those beautiful floral stamps that we have. Um, some of those flowers are kind of big, so it's just cute to put this little ladybug on there just to give you something to look at other than a big flower. Although this is kind of little, this one bug is pretty big. Why? My phone keeps cutting out. Can you see my messages? I've got message problems today. Split personality. That's the Geminis. Yes, there's two of them. You have the attention seeking center of attention Gemini, which is the one I'm most familiar with, I think. And then the other side of the Gemini. Geminis are like everybody's friends. But when a Gemini is in a bad mood, you need to stay out of their way. Just leave them alone. I think my son's a Virgo. Virgo are perfectionists. See, Pisces and Gemini should get along. I think Pisces always kind of goes with the flow. Oh, Colette got a mega mystery box. You go, girl. Okay, I don't exactly know how many colors we need here. So we're just kind of kind of wing it. That's Nancy's way. Winging it. Can't wing it on those turnabout stamps, though. No winging it on them things. Okay. Pisces, not really known for going with the flow, Jen. Hmm. I don't know, Jen. I'm talking about the Gemini not being a Gemini. <laughs> I don't know. I think some of my favorite people are Geminis. But I'm an Aquarius, so I kind of, I don't know. I get along with everybody, I guess. But I'm kind of the same way when I'm, I, I like to be by myself. So this kind of, you know, this whole COVID thing really does not bother me because I'm okay being by myself. In fact, people often accuse Aquariuses of being cold-hearted. It's not that we're cold-hearted. A lot of times we are just indifferent or we are just so deep in thinking about other things we can come off as cold-hearted. And I would like my other Geminis to kind of chime in on that. <laughs> Often I'm told I don't have any empathy. It's not that I don't have empathy. I just don't go out of my way to show empathy. <laughs> Ooh, Sandy's a Scorpio. Sandy, do you have a bad temper? Lee's having a bowl of cereal. Lee, isn't it like midnight there? All right, this is my first time stamping this out. So I am trying to just look at everything, make sure I have it correct. And this is the bigger bug. So I just kind of put it in the middle of the paper because he's got a big body and I want to make sure his big body fits. <laughs> he's got a big body. Sounds like I'm talking about myself. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's do this. Let's start with number five. We're going to go a little backwards here on this guy. Jan, I got one of those in X Scorpio too. Yes. Yes, I understand. Lee, I can totally see that about you. Yes, Tauruses are stubborn. My mom's a Taurus. Hello, Denise, darling. Stacy's a Taurus. I can see that about you too, Stacy. <laughs> yes. 
We have a lot of Aquarius people. All right, so that was number 5A. I'm going to I'm kind of going backwards here on this one. Just so I can see cuz the they're the largest part of the stamp, so I wanted to see where I needed to go with them. Okay, I'm going to grab some dark gray. Well, how many dark spots do we have? One, two, three. Okay, so there are, yeah, five layers. One, two, three. Five layers to this, the bigger bug. Let me grab a dark gray. Denise is a Libra. Crystal's a Libra. Libras are very fun people. Libras are similar to Geminis that they like to have attention. Like, Libras love to have people around. The difference is Libras like everybody to kind of have fun. Um, Geminis are a little bit more selfish, I would say. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, don't get offended, Geminis. Everybody knows you're the center of attention. We're going to open Nancy's uh, Nancy's uh, astrology shop here, right? I'm going to read everybody's horoscopes and tell you guys what you all are and what your personalities are like and what kind of jobs you should have. <laughs> all right, let me go back to layer one. This goes on the bottom of his body, her body, whatever. I don't know why it's called a ladybug. Somebody look that up. And in case you didn't know, on the inside are directions to layering and also what color combinations they used on theirs. So just to give you an idea there. But I was just looking at it to see where I'm supposed to line this first layer of the body up because there's a little white spot on the right side of his, her body. <laughs> All right, going in with tulip red for this one. Well, what are you waiting for, Jen? They're so much fun. Hello, Sherry. Mary, what is your astrological sign? I will tell you your horoscope. Lee is a horse in Chinese New Year. Leah and I are dragons. How did it highlight my name? Patty, I don't know. I don't see any highlighting. Ooh, cancers are very slow to trust people. But once you have the loyalty of a cancer, you will always have the loyalty of a cancer. 
Aw, Regina, let me know what the problem is and I'll help you through it, hon. Erica's a rabbit. Shouldn't this title me? <laughs> yes, Stacy, that's why I picked it. <laughs> Pipe down there, peanut gallery. <laughs> I figured if I disclosed that right up front, you had nothing on me. No ammo. <laughs> Leos. Leos are very uh, loyal, very prideful, very stubborn. Um, let's see. What else do I know about Leos? Uh, my dad was a Leo. I know. It's still early yet. Hi, Margaret. Ooh, Aries. Aries. See, what you have to think about is what their name symbolizes, because that tells you a lot about them. Aries often have their head in the clouds. People think that they're stuck up, even though they're not. Oh, Leos hold grudges. Yes. Um... Aries can seem like they are selfish, but they're really not selfish. Aries are very similar to Aquarius in that we're just kind of indifferent and we're thinking about other things. We may be thinking about the future or other people, but it gives us a bad rap. I was talking about Leo's. Now, this is not everybody. You're going to have different traits. Not everybody is the same. Capricorns, I don't know a whole bunch about. Capricorns, I don't really know any Capricorns. I'm going to have to study up on my Capricorns. Charlotte says she never holds a grudge. That's good, Charlotte. Think about, too, how much you've changed between your younger self and your older self. You'll find that a lot of people, as they grow older, a lot of their um, habits kind of change. Like, I definitely would not want to be friends with younger me. Um, I was very, not that I'm not headstrong now, but I think younger me was just much more callous and less filtered than Nancy now. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, nope, I'm missing one. Okay, six layers to bug A. One is the main body, two is a shadow, three is a top shadow, so his body's pretty easy. And then four is the under layer to his body, five is the um layer, like the darkest layer and his spots on the body, and then, or sorry, five. And then six is this part. What is this? I think this is another darker area of his head. It sure is. Okay, so another shadow layer. Ooh, this is a little tough to line up. I can't see his eyeballs. Hold on. There, you really got to line that one up. I think... That's the only one I'm questioning myself on. The rest of him was pretty easy to line up. And that needs to be in black, black, the black, black. Super dark black. Oh, see, so Jen, you have learned to speak up for yourself. I have learned to filter myself. But at the same point, I don't put up with any crap when I was a kid. You know, I just let people take advantage of me. And now I'm like, bye, Felicia. Keep on walking. 
I don't hang out with any negative people. I don't hang out with any drama. Like, if any of that stuff comes my way, I'm like, I'm out. Y'all take your negative bad attitude somewhere else. Okay, so that's the big bug. He does look like he's kind of like sticking out of the paper. Wham, that'd be a big um, ladybug. All right, let's do the little bug. So the little bug is layer B. So layer A is the big bug, and now we need to find layer B. 1B. Little B. Little B. Little B. We'll put little B over here. Oh, Stacy, again with the cookies. Well, that's what's fun about kitchen sink stamps is not only do they look layered, you know, they look, I mean, they are layered, but they look 3D. They're good quality photopolymer stamps. They're made here in the United States. They're shipped from California. I only ordered these, what, three days ago? I think I ordered them three days ago and they got here already. Um, you get a free SVG cut file sent to you when you order the, when you order it, when you order your stamp so you can cut it out with any electronic die cutting system. So they're totally worth it. And all of their designs, I will say this, are not um, what I call fad designs. Like they're very mature, naturey designs. There's nothing on there that's kind of like, oh, it's a fad and it's in out, it's in today and it's out tomorrow. Like all of their designs are, are stamps that you can use for years and years and years. Um, and I really like this style because I'm not too into like whimsy, artsy stamps. I'm really into really kind of classic modern stamps. And when you have a stamp that looks like nature, you can't go wrong. I mean, look at their flowers. They're just so beautiful. Hello, Beverly. Oh, stop, Lee. You're silly. <laughs> <laughs> ladybug with red on it is a girl and an orange ladybugs are boys i did not know that denise thank you 2b okay 3b um there's really no direct way to line this up you're just kind of layering layers and then the layers on top are just more shadows so you don't have to be too super precise with this one either. I like that. So I'm just doing three different colors of red. I did like an orangey red, a blue red, and then a maroon red for the bodies. So we have three layers. It looks dimensional. And then for the body, it's, or for the... The darker parts, we're going to use um, a couple colors of gray here. So, 4B and 5B. So, the smaller one is only five layers. The bigger one is six layers. Uh-oh, one of her opal polish leaked. Night, Gloria. Oh, Gloria said hi. <laughs> Gloria's not leaving. Don't leave, Gloria. All 
right. This one you do got to kind of line up because this is the, the darker, the black spots. Hello, Caroline. Never late. Fashionably late to the pate. Caroline, you have to tell us what your um, astrological sign is. What did Carmen say? I said, oh, maybe next time you want a cookie, you will consider baby. <laughs> yes, Carmen, that's right. You tell her. If she wants to bake, we got to see some recipes. <laughs> Maybe maybe not as heavy of a recipe, like a recipe that just doesn't have as much on it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, it does say lucky on here. So here's the little um, sentiments. Lucky love... Bugs, hugs, hey, ladybug, blessings. So you can say lucky blessings, hey, ladybug. Oh, that's kind of cute. Hey, ladybug, I'm going to do that one. And I actually even like the green to go with the red. I'm just going to put it over here like this. You can just do hey, bug hugs or whatever you want to do there. Mimi Sweet Tea is a Leo. Oh, you guys, I'll tell you. This was probably about, yeah, I think it was my 30th birthday. So this was 13 years ago. Um, I'd just gone through my first divorce. So it was like 2009, 2009 or 2010. So 10 years ago. I was going through my first divorce. And my girlfriends thought it would be hilarious to throw me a divorce slash kind of birthday party thing. And the first cake they got me, let's just say, was a pair of blue jeans that were unzipped. And it was um, very realistic looking. And it was hilarious. The cake was good too, by the way. But, um, yeah, I mean... It was um, very, very funny. And then the second cake they made me the next year um, was a boob cake. <laughs> so I have, I have great friends. <laughs> There's Kiki. She probably remembers those cakes. Yeah, where is Crafting Queen? She said she wasn't feeling well yesterday. Oh, that looks pretty. Ooh, I like that green. That is Versafine Verdant, which is like a nice lime green. And Kiki says the pictures are on her fridge. I need another cake like that. A, a real life version. <laughs> She's still, yes, Crafting Queen is still opening her mail. They're on, they're on my Facebook. <laughs> Kiki got me a really cool cake when I was pregnant with Leah. It was like a, um, it was like a little pregnant belly and it had a little like, did it have a foot coming out or belly button or something? And it was like, welcome Leah or something. Yay, Stacy got the mail today. Yes, I love the Versafine too. All right, so there's the ladybug set. And like I said, somebody's going to win one of these. It's going in the giveaway. And as you can see, it was very, very easy for me to layer and stamp out. So don't be intimidated by layered stamps, especially not kitchen sink stamps. They're so worth it. They're so beautiful. And uh, Mod Squad Challenge is coming up. So you can check out the Mod Squad Challenge website and if you want to enter a card you could win up to 25 you could win a 25 dollars gift certificate to kitchen sink stamps so yes yeah somebody text crafting queen and tell her to stop opening the mail lysol and everything and chasing the ups man down the street and get in here and hang with us
Ooh, I need an FSC cake. Yes. Maybe I'll make myself an FSC cupcake tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so that one's done. All right, let's move on to, let's do this little elephant. This elephant is one that came out of the um, vault. He was retired. Actually, the date on him is 2010. So I saw him and I'm like, I never saw this elephant before. He's so cute. And then I saw out of the vault. So I ordered it. So if you're interested in this one, head on over to Kitchen Sink Stamps. I'll link everything for you guys. And then I'll get you my, um, my discount code for them. Okay, Bonnie says no more sweets. Bonnie, you got your birthday card from me? Ryan's probably like, yeah, stop talking about my job. I don't want to think about sweets until tomorrow. Um, I would say the one that I use the most is the, um, the iris stamp. That's just one of my go-tos. It's just very pretty and very easy to use. Or the, the hibiscus stamp is pretty too, but I think the iris is probably my favorite. The bearded iris. I can't show you a picture of it because Stacy didn't go open her mail yet. Now, you don't have to do this with your stamps. You can leave them the way they are on their acetate sheet. Again, I like to do it because I like to know which stamps I have, which ones I'm missing. I like to just put them in their right place so I don't have to worry about losing them later. And then I also know what goes in what order when I'm stamping them. So, okay, let's bring this back in. Hello, Wendy. Okay, so this little elephant, it looks like it's just one image, and he's a little elephant. He's very easy. He looks like only four stamps, but a lot of sentiments. So just heard the news. Go wild. Happy birthday. Have tons of fun. Sweet bundle of love. Don't forget. Wild for you. Big hug. Missing you just because. Special delivery and welcome, little one. Oh, I sound so cute. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, Stacy went and opened the mail. Kiki, you don't even know. Stacy bullied me yesterday. She's all yelling at me and everything else. Shush. <laughs> she had total moderator control yesterday. She was running the show. I do not, Gloria. I don't know. I'm just as anxious as you guys are. Maybe I'll put this little guy over here. All right, so since we're going to be using gray inks, I'm going to use my all to new inks, which means I need to condition these stamps because they're brand new. So I'm going to get my Versamark ink out. Let me put these away. Kiki would have just joined right in with you guys. She'd have been like, yes, 30 years, oh, 40 years of revenge. Yes. I forget how old you are. I forget you're old now. All right. We're going to start with limestone for layer one of our little elephant. Hey, yesterday I linked the turnabout stamps for you guys. You might have checked both links. I found some of them were cheaper at um, 
Amazon, and some were cheaper on scrapbook.com. So just to give you an idea. And yes, I did order myself the jig. And I lost the letter A. Letter A, letter A, stay there. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Jan, only when I'm picking on my Gemini sister. <laughs> my sister doesn't look her age, though. She certainly doesn't look her age when she's out with her daughter, who is how old now? 20? My niece is 20? Like, then my sister looks like her sister. Like, she does not look like she's her mother. For sure. She's going to be 21 this year. She wants us to take her to Nashville for her birthday. So who's got a place in Nashville we can stay at for a few days? <laughs> I don't know why she wants me to take her to Nashville. I will be chasing country stars down. I don't drink. So I don't know what, why she wants me to take her. Oh, Betty, you're only as old as you feel. What was what did Colette say? I want to congratulate her too. I missed it. Oh, wow, Colette. I found it for you, honey. You lost it. I found it. Great job, sweetheart. I don't even know if my niece drinks never seen that side of her. She's always been pretty good around me. Okay, so far baby elephant is pretty easy to layer up, but let's not jinx ourselves here. Okay, layer number three, we're going in with industrial diamond. Like a fish, really? Oops. Good night, Lee. Thanks for hanging. Oh my gosh, this little elephant is too stinking cute. You guys got to get him. Okay, one more layer and then we're done. I'm going to tell her she needs to make a bigger elephant. He needs a mama elephant. Maybe autocorrect did fix his words. Charlotte got her cards out. Yes, you guys, we only have a few more days to get your cards out. <laughs> Do 
Tracy's here. There she is. You guys. Oh my gosh. Let me wipe this down and then I'll show you. This is so cool. Now I can't wait for my stinking hero arts set so I can put these together. Look. Tell me that does not look like a real elephant. And it really was not that hard to line up. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. But I need a big, I'm gonna tell her she needs to make a big elephant. He needs a mama elephant. All right, so that one's called Little Elephant. Maybe she has a mama elephant. I just didn't see it. Well, like I said, he came out of the vault, so I don't know. I'll find out. I'll find out for you guys. He was pretty easy to do. Okay. Tracy's is a Pisces. Tracy is a good Pisces. Like, for sure, Tracy's a Pisces. Pisces also, like, they care about everybody. They want everybody to be included. Um, very humanitarian Pisces are. All right. Do we want to see the squirrel? I mean, I'm already here. Yes, peacemakers. That's the perfect way of saying it, Tracy. Good night, Stephanie. Susan is an Aries. Yes, we love our Stacy and our Tracy and Crafting Queen. Well, I love all of you guys. No, I'm an Aquarius. I'm a heartless Aquarius. Um, Stacy just had her birthday. She is a Taurus, she said. Hi, Kim. Be careful, honey. Oh, Jacob's an Aquarius. Well, that explains his musical part, yes. Okay, Crystal wants to see the squirrel. Squirrel! Judy says, nope, only the baby elephant. Yes, today is Terry's birthday. Sparkle misses a Pisces. Lee, I thought you were going to bed. <laughs> yes, we found out there's a lot of Aquariuses here. Ryan's a Gemini. All right, which one do you like better so far, the baby elephant or the ladybugs? <laughs> Did you hear that, you guys? I'm in Lee's bed with him all the way in England. <laughs> All right. Squirrel, we're saying, right? Tracy, put them up there. Okay, what size do we have here? I want five by three and three quarters. 
Nobody cares if it's square today. Stacy. <laughs> Lee's got everybody in bed. <laughs> See, now you guys are connect. You're going to connect by region. You're going to connect by stamping style, foiling style. And now you're going to connect by your, um, your astrological signs. Although some of you, you can't be with your same astrological sign. It would just be a big mess. Like, I don't know. Two Geminis can hang out for a good time for a party, but that burns out real quick. <laughs> I was Bonnie I went and uh, had a good day my uh, daughter's father came to see her and he took her out to ride her bike and then he bought us Chinese food for lunch and he brought me cheesecake and everybody knows if you want to get on my good side definitely bring me cheesecake and then, oh, he brought me two knives that I can use for butchering my fish when I catch them. And then Leah and I went fishing after he left. And Leah had this huge trout on her line. And she, you know, was all excited. She was bringing it in. And I turned around to grab the net and the fish snapped her line. Poor baby. She saw, I mean, we both saw how big it was. It was right, if I had the net, I would have had a shot at getting it. So we were thinking about going tonight, but it's just super windy here today, so. Because I have to st stick them on backside. Like it's not, if you put them down this way, this is the top. So I need the backs to go on this the sheet. Very good question, Stacy. That was a very educational question. Yeah, so as we were leaving, there was a guy next to me who was kind of eyeing my spot. I'm like, you can have it. We're leaving. I said, if you catch the fish with the hook in its mouth, that's my daughter's. <laughs> okay, so the squirrel set is, I don't know why we just assume, you know, associate squirrels with winter time i guess fall because they're you know putting their 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 i was gonna say putting their nuts away <laughs> you guys know what i meant <laughs> but we have only three layers for him and then it looks like the acorns the acorns and the leaves are also layered so this is going to be a all year round set this is not just for fall so the leaves, you can change the colors and you can make them either fall colors or spring colors. But this is going to be a pretty cool set. So you have three layers for the maple leaf. Um, what is this? An oak leaf? One, two, three layers for the oak leaf. You have three layers for the larger acorn and three layers for the smaller acorn. So you get quite a bit in this stamp set. Um, and then it says... Owl nuts, I forgot. Autumn leaves and nuts about you. So some cute sentiments. <gasps> I'm waiting for the drive-ins to open here. Should I be using watercolor paper when using Distress Oxide inks and sprays? Paper seems to be buckling. I would say yes, Ryan. If you're going to be doing anything with a lot of water, um, use watercolor paper. Yes, dear. Charlotte, wow. 41 years? Congratulations. All right, let's work on our squirrel. Stacy, you just, you know what? You just keep on being that mean friend. You're just so mean, girl. 
I'm very happy for you. So I don't have to see your unfilled nails anymore. <laughs> ordered already from kitchen sink stamps somebody just put an order in you guys gotta wait and then I'll send you a discount I'm gonna give you a discount code I mean okay let's do layer one with our little squirrel he's kind of reddish brownish oh Candace didn't <laughs> Candace don't forget to put your free SVG file in your basket there is no discounts for Creative Vision stamps, yes. Ah, uh, I miss my shepherd. He was a big dog. Okay, so let's see. I need a little magnet. How okay, what colors are we gonna use here? Do I all the browns I have are kind of like chocolatey browns? I do want him. Maybe we'll do his top layer like a maroony brown. We'll see here. How many layers did I say he was? Three layers? Yeah. Okay. We're using some Hero Arts sandstone. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Candace. No, I'm not. I'm making you a happy person. Bonnie and I met in the um, Creative Vision Stamps booth three years ago, Bonnie. How old is your grandson now? Three years ago, and... Bonnie came up to me and said, are you Nancy from Nancy Stamps? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, I recognized your voice. And I was like, it's that annoying, huh? <laughs> Two years ago, Bonnie says. So, and ever since then, Bonnie has been a loyal subscriber, follower, card, pen pal, I was really afraid that Bonnie had coronavirus, and I was, like, yelling at her to go to the doctor. Betty Bell, I would say for white paper, the Nina um, Classic Crest works fine. The regular Nina we've been using, Nina Solar White Classic Crest. And now we're going in with cocoa for layer two. A little bit darker brown. Ooh, I forgot to versa mark this. We might have to double stamp this. Uh oh. Stacy, I messed up. That's what the back of the paper's for. Okay, Tracy, I'll look it up for you, honey. I'll look up, I'll do some shopping for you and get you some best pricing. Did you check, and I'm going to hate to say this, but did you check Hobby Lobby? Because they're having a big fat sale right now. Um, yeah, I will do some research for you, Trace. We'll save you some monies, honey.
All right, so what happened there was when the paper pulled up and I put it back down, I didn't line it up. So my second layer did not match up with my first layer. So we have to start over again. I know, Kim, but listen, if it's going to save the girl 25 or 50 bucks, I'm not going to deny that's a lot of money. You want to see a video on the mermaid? I didn't cut that mermaid out. Okay, that gives me something to do this week. I tried to find my old cuddle bug and I can't. I think I gave it away. I called my friend who I think I gave it to and she's like, yeah, it's around here somewhere. Because I was going to use it on the spellbinders and see how it works out. I have a big kick, you guys. That thing is super old, but I can't get rid of it because my daddy bought it for me. Can you please keep speaking while you're holding still? Otherwise, I keep thinking you froze. Oh, Kiki, you will know when I froze because people lose their crap. <laughs> Which happened the other night. What night was that, you guys? When my internet kept cutting out and I was going to go over to the neighbor's house and punch somebody in the face because he's the one that told me to go with this new internet. And it was terrible. And Nancy was losing her shit. Beep, 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 all over the place. Saturday. I was like, okay, I gotta go, guys. I can't deal with this anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see. What do I have? Oh, I could have used diversifying. That's okay. Yes, Stacy was my saving grace because I was about to flip out. This shit was going to get thrown in the yard in the rain. That's how angry I was. It's not a good day. So I have this color, which is called Chianti, which is a very dark, it's like a wine, dark purple red. But I think that'll go good for his last layer here. I do love my Gemini Junior. I do use my Big Kick every once in a while. Like if I'm using like the longer embossing folders, I'll get the Big Kick out. But I do like the Gemini Junior. The Gemini Junior is... Next to the Misty, <laughs> I will give the Misty credit. The Gemini Junior is probably one of the best investments I made in this craft room. Chianti. Oh, thank you for the correction. Got it. Well, I don't drink. How am I supposed to know these things? Okay, you can't see that. So Betty Bell, the Gemini plates will warp. What you need to do is, the problem is we use it American style and you need to use it European style. 
which means you have to put your plates in upside down. All right, we're, we're going to take this up a level. So because the first two layers were dye ink and the last layer was a pigment ink, what does that mean about this last layer of ink? If you don't answer correctly, you have to go back and watch Stamping 101. That's correct. It dries slow. Very good, Candace. So we're going to put embossing powder on just that top layer. Okay. I'm liking this where this is going. This is Coffee Grounds by Brutus Monroe. Of course, I just could have used clear, but I have this dark. It's really dark brown. It legit looks like coffee grounds. The best embossing powder. Brutus Monroe coffee grounds. Christopher, are you listening? I said the best embossing powder. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I got to plug in my gun. Does he ship overseas, Tracy? I don't know. Does Christopher Allen ship to Canada and overseas, you guys? My squirrel is complete. Oh, he ships anywhere. That's great. Okay, so now, just by putting that embossing powder on our last layer, it really makes our squirrel pop. Gives him a little more dimension. Even though I have a messed up squirrel on the other side. <laughs> All right, let's look at the leaves. <laughs> That's right, he's a little furry. Okay, so...
Uh, my favorite inks right now are the Versafine Claire's. There's a new release coming out for kitchen sink stamps next month. Um, I can tell you guys there are at least two that I know you're going to want. Um, I, of course, want all of them. They're all beautiful. But I know there's at least two that are just gorgeous. I have not seen anything like them out on the market right now. So, and again, very classic designs. Um, but there, I think I saw five or six. She always seems to release them in the summertime. So, um, she said she's trying for a June release. If we're lucky, we may see it at the end of May. Oh, these are three layers. Whoopsie. I thought it was two layers. That's okay. These are all three layers. Okay, my bad. You won't regret it. The Tim Holtz guillotine is a really nice trimmer. Um, okay, we're going to do... This guy in dark brown. Go back in with my Chianti. Night, Tina. Ooh, I didn't line up that maple leaf very well. Kiki's still here. Kiki, your nephew did not call me yesterday and is now afraid to come home because I got an email from the teacher. And I said he's going to get served up some Big Mac with cheese. So your nephew is afraid to come home. <laughs> he hiding out at daddy's house. Crafting queen's coming. Woo! I'm going to redo that one. You can't even see that one. Um, Versafine Claire's are pigment inks. Um, Colette, if you go back, I did a full video. I think it's Stamping 101 or Stamping 102. I just did it a couple weeks ago. And I go in and explain the difference in, in the inks. Uh, Crafting Queen has been doing some videos on our Facebook page. So she's very active in our foiling and stamping Facebook group. In fact, she is the number one contributor 
in our Facebook group. Oh, there she is. Crafting Queen, we wondered how long it was going to take for you to open the mail. <laughs> we know that's where you were. Lysol is sanitizing everything with the roosters. <laughs> Yes, we love our queen. Okay. All right, these leaves and acorns look real, real. Like they look very 3D dimensional. I probably could have made some better color choices on my ink because I thought they were only two layers. So I did a light layer and a dark layer instead of putting in a middle layer, but they still look pretty good. I believe you when you say that, too. talking about my Leah or a different Leah? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Had a lot of fun. I'll show you guys what we got here. Let me move this stuff out of the way. All right. So let me just do a recap of the beginning here. So Crafting Queen, remember the other night I did these monogram letters? Good night, Sparkle Miss. So what I did was I used the Spellbinders. I keep wanting to call these little wings. Um, and I just stamped those, and then I put it on some foiled cardstock. And these are going to get mailed out to my friend's daughter. And then I stamped Pennsylvania on the back because that's her home. So she will have these blank cards to mail out to her family and friends. And then I started playing around with some new kitchen sink stamps. And they are, well, they're new to me. Um, this one, one of these is going to go in the giveaway. This is the ladybug. So I stamped it out. And this is what it looks like. You have a large and a small layered ladybug. 
Then I stamped out this elephant. The elephant's not going in the giveaway. It was just new to me, but it's in the vault, and I'll link it for you guys because it's temporarily out of the vault, so it's a limited edition stamp. And this is how cute this little elephant came out. So adorable. Okay, and then the last one, which we just played around with, I messed up a little bit, but we fixed it. On the third layer, I put some heat um, Brutus Monroe Coffee Grounds heat embossing on the third layer, and you can see a little more dimension, and like Stacy said, he kind of looks fuzzy. And then I also stamped out all the elements that are with him are also three-layer stamps. So you don't just get um, the squirrel, you get two acorns, and you get two leaves with the squirrel set. So I will link those for you. In the giveaway, I'm giving away kitchen sink stamp, Friends of the Moon, kitchen sink stamps, Hummingbird, kitchen sink stamps, um, Teddy Bear, and a kitchen sink stamps, uh, Ladybug. So those all went in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you guys want to go over and see Christopher, I can recommend that. Yeah, just say Nancy Stamp sent us over for your great embossing powder. <laughs> All right, so for the rest of you guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up on your way out. We have 104 people watching, 37 thumbs up. We are only 18 subscribers away from 15,000. I would love to mail some packages out of here on Friday. So we'll be doing some drawings this week. But we got to get to 15,000. So thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Head on over to the Foiling and Stamping Facebook group and join us over there. Don't forget to join Tracy's and Karen's YouTube pages as well. They, um, Tracy, I don't know if you can link yours real quick. Yes, stay safe. Virtual hugs to everybody. I will link down in the description everything I used, and I will put the code for Kitchen Sink Stamps where you can get a discount code for these stamps. So I will link that for you guys as well. Oh, good. And there's Tracy's. So head on over to watch Christopher on Brutus Monroe. Make sure you says Nancy Stamp said you have the world's best embossing powder. I'm going to go on there. I'm going to count how many people say it. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a good night. Stay safe. Virtual hugs. And make sure you subscribe to Tracy's channel because Tracy's going to be having a giveaway soon. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.